And tell me about your experience going abroad. Like what sort of differences you found in the culture there and here, and also what did you learn that you're applying to your business here? I mainly joined because I could cook. I mean, that's why I started to study hotel management as an undergrad subject. Uh, but there was this essence of hospitality that was more important to me, which I wanted to figure out. I remember that I didn't know what I was going to do. I had no clarity at all. But there was just this one uh, thought at the back of my head thinking, okay, let's explore what hospitality could mean. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, I was studying for my first four years. Uh, so that would be like five days a week. But I'd also work three days, including weekends, at a local bistro part-time. This is in uh, Sweden? No, no, this is here. Like this my first okay. day of college was my first day of work. Okay. Washing like pots and pans at a bistro here in Kothrud. And uh, that, that taught me a lot. Uh, I mainly uh, was able to interact with a lot of like new minds, good people. I was taught a lot of good things. Uh, it le- really refined my personality, is what I would say, to what it is now. Yeah. Which is not like... Nothing com- great, yeah, but it's fine. Not very commendable. <laughs> uh, um, but I did that for two and a half years, and then I trained in the Maldives, which is something you have to do for a semester. Not in the Maldives, you have to take a semester and intern at uh, a property of your choosing. So, students uh, during that time usually go for like five-star properties across India, uh, some opt to go out if the college gives them that option. I took the Maldivian way out. Six months trained at a really cool restaurant under like this hard French Mauritian chef. I wanted uh, to speak to you about that because you told me you met some Premier League footballers there. Yeah, I met... What uh, was that experience like? Just a segue. Yeah, I, I mainly I remember my interaction with Morten Pedersen. Morten Gans Pedersen, yeah. yeah. So he is he's a pretty cool guy, man. He was there with his family. Uh, I had no idea he was a footballer. So I was on the buffet. I was grilling octopus. And he comes up and he's he's really warm. If you've met him, like he's very receptive. Uh, you feel like talking to him. And he, he also wants to know more about you. Yeah. Um, so in that moment, uh, while serving him, it was just this very candid conversation we were having. I was just talking to him about the mahi-mahi fish on the buffet. And he was like, oh, I love that. And then I asked him what he does yeah. for a living. And he's like, oh, I play football. <laughs> he was like very modest about it. Um, and then I, he, he went on to tell me that he's actually a big deal in a, in a very uh, humble tone. Yeah. You know, there was nothing like huge about it. Yeah, he was a Premier League player. He was known for scoring free kicks and good long range goals. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I later read up on how he, he was like pretty good with his free kicks yeah. at the moment I had no idea even today I don't watch football like I prefer to play yeah um, but yeah he's pretty he's, he's a nice guy he had a, a beautiful wife with him 